welcome to ICMTU, which is short for I Can't Make This Up. It's the live show where people from different backgrounds come together to share true stories that have happened in their life. Today's shout out goes to Cafe Peanuts. When you're in Jersey City, make sure you stop by Cafe Peanut, located at 586 Newark Ave, Jersey City, New Jersey. Also, just let everybody know, we still got merch, baby. Laughter is always in style. Bing, bing. show about bringing people together from different backgrounds by telling true stories. I'm your host, AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. From there, you got my Facebook, my Instagram, my Twitter. It's all located at ajdunk.com. I consider all my guests to be special. When they're taking their time out of their day... Uh. Well, well, this is where you redeem yourself because when I invite guests here, I consider them to be special because if they're taking the time out of their day to be on an episode of I Can't Make This Up, I have to consider that to be special. So, guest, if you would, please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Christian Banda. I'm a segment producer at The Daily Show with Trevor Noah. Shout out X Mayo, our girl, our girl X. I produce a show called Adulting with Michelle Buteau and uh, Jordan Carlos. You'll generally find me out here on the front lines protesting for black lives because there's nothing more important. That's why you don't follow directions because you was doing everything, my man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what, a good, what a good segue. You're a great host. <laughs> hey, I got you. I got you, my brother. I like to check in to see where my guests are from because I like to pull guests from all different places. So I'm checking in from Jersey City. Where are you? Sure. I'm um, right now. I'm in Bed Stuy, Bed uh, Brooklyn. I biked 105 miles on Friday to Philly for a protest. Protest is Saturday, and then Sunday I biked 113 miles back to Brooklyn. And uh, so I've been traversing. But uh, I'm back in Brooklyn. To know that I was going there for a protest for Black Lives, like, fueled me. I wasn't just going there for some cheesesteaks. I just had some cheesesteaks there. So, what cheesesteak okay. spot? So, I, I went to Jim's, and I got, I got, yeah, I got the steak with fried onions. Hell yeah, hell right. yeah. <laughs> that's the, yo, that's the spot. All right, so, me. AJ Dunk, spelled all caps, invite guests here to share true stories that have happened in their life that they cannot make up. So now, while Christian is here, he's going to share a true story. When he's telling his story, feel free down there in that comment section, type, 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 submit your comments, comment, 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 comment. I'm watching, I'm listening, and I'm making my own questions for this story that he's telling. All right? But if you have if you have a specific question about this story, there's a button down there that looks just like this. You press that button and submit your question. So if you want to know, hey, Christian, at what point did you pull over and take a pee? You submit that question, all right? And then if it's if it's related to the story. Then we'll then we'll answer it. 
Do you pinky promise that this story is true? I pinky promise that every detail of this story is true. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. All right. Shall I begin? Yes, sir, please. I'm ready. Okay. So, I was 15 years old, and uh, my mom loved traveling. She's like, yo, let's go to the island. She's from Tanzania, so she loves hot climate vacations. And I was a big old book nerd and just kept reading Harry Potter books over and over again. <laughs> my mom's like, yo, let's go to Jamaica. Yeah, I'd like to go to Jamaica. And like, yo, we're going to hang with some childhood best friends. I was like, well, they ain't part of my childhood. So the childhood, they're like, shut up, Christian. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so we get there. <laughs> we're in Ocho Rio. And I just roll up with my copy of, uh, of uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Because I, <laughs> I just kept reading that book at that time. And I'm in my room and I just hear a big old knock and it's from these two niggas christian come come up to the room and hang out with us i was like well i i, I don't know i, I, I suppose. Uh, they both look at me like yo christian we're trying to go out tonight and i was like you're trying to go out i have, I have one more chapter left in Harry Potter. <laughs> and they're like no nah, nigga like we're trying to go out like you're trying to hang yes i would like to hang out with you too and i just threw my harry potter book at something <laughs> Well, these niggas in Jamaica can drink, and I was 15, let's, let's keep it a bug. We go from bar to bar to bar to bar. I remember just like very, very just like short flips of me at a bar, dancing with a, a, a white Taurus, like me on top of the bar at 15, just like shaking my ass, me with like three rum and cokes, and then like carrying me. And then our final spot of the night. So again, they're 10 years older than me. I'm 15. They're like, yo, you ready? So we open the door, and I am in a goddamn brothel. Again, 15 years old. It was like Costco for titties. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of this Costco for titties is like, it was a platform. And I sit down, and like, these two dudes look at me, and they're like, yo, what's up? I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Like, all right, just watch. And I direct my head toward the center. And Lord have mercy, AJ. I look at the center of the platform, and I'm just, like, browning out, blacking out, browning out, sobering up. And to this day, this nigga with the biggest dick I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it starts, yeah, it's just, I swear to God. I, like, I, it might as well have been chopping trees outside. That shit took a turn. <laughs> was, like, one of the waitresses. Uh, the woman working the, 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 the establishment goes up and uh, that's the first time I saw sex in person man. and they were just yeah I was 15 I was reading Harry Potter but hours ago <laughs> <laughs> they finished a lap dance this girl finished giving me a lap dance and I'm in Kingston Jamaica I think it's like 4am the thing about Jamaica is like every every day oh I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what happened. The dick chopped it off. <laughs> That's getting pinned. <laughs> Take this man home. They literally look these two in the eye, and they drive me home at this pit stop. Two hands full of jerk chicken in the countryside of Jamaica, just overlooking the moon. We're shining over the ocean, and I was like, the best man of my life. <laughs> again at my own room and i go in there and i just collapse and so like 1 p.m the next day my mom like knocks on the door i was like christian are you okay oh you were down and out for a while like oh that book must have been good huh and i was like yeah that book was really good she's like okay we're down at the pool so if you want to come down come down i was like yeah mom will be there in a second and uh that's the end of the story <laughs> <laughs> That was that whole night. <laughs> I will never forget any moment of that experience. I don't it think so I lovely. will either. First question I gotta ask. When did you finish the book? I finished the book on the plane ride home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so I depressed. Like, I, I was like, I, I can't concentrate. I gotta, I gotta finish this shit on the way home. Granted, I read it before. But I need I need that second. So it took me a couple times to read it and like really appreciate it. Oh, so you oh, were yeah, serious about your books? I saw Donkey Style right like five feet from my eyes, <laughs> and the only thing on my mind was like, "Yo, so does Harry get out of King's Cross or what happens to Voldemort?" 
Nigga, what is going on? <laughs> The funniest line you said during that whole story was, it was like Costco for titties. <laughs> we were going this way, and all of a sudden, it was like, hold on, nigga, what? <laughs> to this day, I just wonder, how does a man just operate this world with that big of a, of a penis? I, I worry about him. The way you're describing this, it felt like it would have been poking out of her mouth. And I haven't told that story in like about like six years. And Mr. AJ, you got it out of me, you silly goose. <laughs> Has your mom heard this story? Does she know what really happened? I think now's the time to tell mom about this stupid ass story. So next time I see my family, I'm definitely gonna be sort of like pour the fattest glass of wine and be like, "Hey, mom, come hither. We gotta, we gotta chat about something." Did you frame oh, the no. book? Every time I see that cover, I think of the Costco with titties, <laughs> which is not what J.K. Rowling intended. <laughs> you should have got your family members to sign it like they wrote the book. <laughs> do you still talk to the guys? I haven't seen those niggas since, but I do think about them every now and then. I have to hope they have families now. Maybe they had families then. I didn't know about it. Over 50, they said you need to go back. I truly do. Uh, Christian got his groove back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the chapters before uh, Tay Diggs met her. And there I was in a Costco for titties. Uh... Pick one for the rest of your life. Bowl cut or LeBron's hair? Wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like, I said they cut it off here? It's bullshit. No wonder white people are so angry. <laughs> AJ, this has been so fun. I've had a great time, man. Last question that I have to ask you is not some something that somebody sent. It's just sure. a question that I ask all my guests. How would you like to be remembered? I want to be remembered as a nigga that stood up for who the fuck I was, regardless of circumstance, regardless of job, regardless of what people thought about me. I yeah, hear you. And <laughs> he drank a hypnotic out of the little out of the little grenade cup. <laughs> that shit like this color blue. He drinking this like shit. Yo, ex, don't fuck yourself. <laughs> All this right. Is so fun, AJ. Have me on again, man. If you believe the story, let me get an all caps. If you don't believe the story, let me get a bowl cuts for more. <laughs> we got all caps before I even got what it is that it is. <laughs> Second party with a loud reading. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. My name is AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. You can find me at www.ajdunk.com. Dot com. From there, you got my Facebook, my Instagram, and my Twitter. It's all located at ajdunk.com. I've also got my YouTube up there. Laughter is always in style. We got shirts, baby. We got shirts. Thank you again to everybody for taking time today to tune into another episode of I Can't Make This Up. Again, my name is AJ Dunk, spelled all caps. Don't forget, laughter is always in style. And let them know, Ma.